soft boom boom of that television screen While lying children hear that fair child scream Quietly lay that baby upon on the floor Sucking on his thumb I'm Jesse Jester, the subculture investigator I'm here with Gavin Wilkinson of Bears and Blue River Like, I'll remember a conversation more than like a, a whole night. Just like one thing that happened or whatever. In Crayola. Lots of inside jokes with friends who've known me forever. Good spark. Should I waste our impatiently haste? Life being fickle, it comes as a trick of me. Totally a conversation with someone talking to me about their trouble with their relationship. I wanted to go, but you're like, nah, you're too afraid to do it. Should I stay or should I go now? I'm Jesse Jester, the subculture investigator. I'm here with Gavin Wilkinson of the Bears of Blue River. Three songs Gavin can't live without. Oh man, Eric's. All right, I really need Heroes and Villains. I've been in this town so long, and back in the city, I've been taken for a lost gun, and I'm known for a long, long Brian Wilson song. Um, Smile. Well, well, I mean, there's earlier versions, but I really like that later release of Smile. And then uh, for driving around in the summer, it's fun to listen to anything off Highway 61 or visit the Dillon. So maybe, uh, I don't know. When I lived in Indiana, I still had a car. I'd just drive around with that one on repeat. Third song? Uh, Loudon Wayne writes the swimming song. F. Scott Fitzgerald or Ernest Hemingway? Hemingway. Ella Fitzgerald or Billie Holiday? Billie. Dolly Parton or Loretta Lynn? Loretta Lynn. Weezer's Blue Album or Pinkerton? Pinkerton. Panda Bear or Grizzly Bear? Oh, man. Grizzly Bear. Mountain Goats or Fleet Foxes? Mountain Goats. Apple Pie or Pecan? Pecan. Elephant Six or Animal Collective? Elephant Six. Well, as a whole, uh, let's just say Elephant Six. Favorite member of the Bears of Blue River? Uh, I, I've known Justin the longest. He wins by default. Yeah, I, I, I made this like a set of demos that a lot of songs would become the Killer Be Scare, but it's called uh, Trumpet Sounds Drunk. It's, it's on the internet, I guess. It plays only Tom Waits from Yeah. <laughs> then we started getting a little more serious about like, oh, I really like these songs. Let's play them. I met Maggie at this sandwich shop that. I was working at at the time, and I, I saw this YouTube video of her singing, and I was like, oh my gosh, this girl's voice is crazy. I was like, you have to come play with me. Justin was already playing with me, and then Brian I saw playing with another band. He was like in this covers band, kind of, and I was like, you should be my drummer. I really like your style. So then I had friends come over, and I lived in this really crappy house in downtown Quincy, Indiana, and uh, we just like did all kinds of silly recordings. Like I'd let my friend take the computer into the closet for a while, and whatever he would try out with, I'd be through it and see if we wanted to use some stuff. Or we'd slam all the doors in the house for like the drums because we didn't have a drummer. We crushed tons of beer cans. And we found this mason jar to play. By the last show, I really didn't have a voice anymore, like, because it was already so hot out, and there's so many festivities going on during the day. It's intense. Your setup has to be so fast. However it sounds is how it sounds, and I hope someone likes you. So, I don't know. Would you do it again? I would like to do it again. I don't really like the just stand in the field thing, just under direct heat all day. So it's cool that shows are inside, outside, inside, outside. There's special free stuff all day. like. Every morning we wake up, we would accidentally find breakfast. Like, oh, there's the taco truck that's free. Oh, there's a big omelet breakfast here. I don't think that happens at every festival. Let's change up. Scenario. Uh, 
but still I know a lot of people that have the everything that is beautiful and nothing hurt tattoo, um, which is sort of Kurt Vonnegut's most famous line. Yeah. What does uh, Kurt Vonnegut represent for you? Uh, well, just from growing up in Indiana too, he was, you always heard about him and stuff, and I, I didn't maybe like read him as early as I should have. When I did, I, I found the book Sirens of Titans, and man, never read a book that many times. Uh, I actually named my cat from that book too. What's your stance on space? The giant nebulous. <laughs> yeah. You don't concern yourself with so much of how much of a tiny fragment you are. You're more concerned with what you're doing as that tiny fragment. Yeah, I suppose so. It seems like if I get focused too much on how small I am in the stream of things, you know, I, I'll just do that will crush you. Girl in popular culture you'd most like to shag. Oh, God. Shannon Sosserman. Uh, uh, Annie Clark from St. Vincent. Yeah, she's a lesbian, but maybe she should give it a go. I don't know. I would really, really, really like to hang out with Joni Mitchell. Paps or old style? Oh man. I can paps more often. Yeah. See your Billy Holiday tattoo, man. Thanks, man. Sometimes she makes ugly faces the way I mean ugly. Uh, Django Reinhardt. Uh, I have a little weird thing with my hand. Like, when I found out about his hand being the thing, too. Like, I mean, obviously he has much more going on, but he's so beautiful to listen to. Amazing. Love beautiful music. Yeah, you uh, well, I like ugly music, too. Have you ever worked with Sean McCall? Uh, yeah. Uh, he, uh... He just tracked our, the B-side to uh, a 7-inch we're going to put out with uh, through Glory Hole Records. And uh, he tracked the whole B-side, which is something called Yellow Belly, which is definitely like me trying something totally different. Like the way we recorded it, the sounds we got. We had to do uh, a mobile rig for half the session, so we definitely had to do stuff to Pro Tools there. So we just set up stuff to record, and then we got back, everything was sent to tape. So. He's got an awesome board that just like has a soul of its own. Love it. Yeah. See you. Yeah. Thanks, man. Love it. We love you. Jesse Jester experience. The time I dated no more. We love my darling. My father got a grease. Go ahead.